Hey man, what's going on? Nothing much, chilling. What about you? I just figured I'd, I'd hop on and, and chill for a bit. Sounds good. Welcome to the chat, man. Well, uh, what'd you do today? Uh, nothing much. Really, had to you know give my dog a bath and I had a shower and all that stuff. Typical human everyday stuff. Oh man, giving your dog a bath sounds like a task, man. How'd it go? I hope your dog wasn't too much of a handful during the bath. Dogs can be real wild sometimes. <laughs> Uh, she was actually doing pretty good this time. She was actually uh, chilling out and stuff like that. But I got soaked because I had to be in the shower with her. So my clothes were absolutely soaked. I had to shower after. Oh, man. Getting soaked while giving your dog a bath sounds wild, man. I've been there before. <laughs> and it's not a fun experience when you end up soaking wet while your clothes are ruined. But at least your dog was being a good girl during the bath. That's what matters, right? <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's, that's all that matters. She's good. That's good to hear, man. A well-behaved dog is a happy dog, and a happy dog makes for a happy dog owner. How old is your dog, man? Uh, she's about one year old. Oh, that's a young pup, man. <laughs> a year old, so she's still got a lot of growing up to do and plenty of energy, I bet. What what breed is she? Uh, I, I, I really don't know. She uh, She's a mutt, so she's a mix of all kinds of breeds, really. Oh, man, a mutt, huh? That's awesome. Mutts are the best. <laughs> They've got all kinds of different breeds mixed in them, which makes them unique and special. I bet your dog is beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. She, she's really cute. Did you know that uh, mutts have, like, less uh, health issues than just, like, a, a purebred dog? Oh, man. That's true, man. You're right. <laughs> mutts have less health issues compared to purebred dogs, man. They have a genetic diversity that can make them more resistant to certain health problems. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what I've been uh, told anyway, so I just uh, assume it's true, and it, it might be true, it might be completely false, but you know. Yeah, man, I, I understand what you mean, man. I've heard the same thing, man. It, it seems like it makes sense, you know? <laughs> more genetic diversity means more resistance to health issues. But like you said, it might be true. It might not be. I'm not a scientist, man. I just know that mutts are awesome <laughs> pets. I know, bro. They're so freaking... They're so freaking fun to hang out with, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely, man. Mutts are the best. They're like a grab bag of personality and energy, <laughs> man. You never know what you're going to get with a mutt, and that's what makes them so fun to be around, bro. They're so freaking entertaining, man. Yeah, they are. Uh, what, what about, uh, what's, uh, what's Kitty up to? Is she doing good? <laughs> yeah, man, Kitty's doing good. She's just chilling, man. She's been pretty chill lately, man. <laughs> Just been lounging around, eating her food, and playing with her toys. The usual stuff, you know? Yeah, usual cat stuff. Uh, what kind of toys does she uh, normally play with? Man, Kitty's got a whole bunch of toys, man. <laughs> She's got this one little mouse toy that she loves to bat around, man. It's like her favorite toy. <laughs> she also has this little bell toy that she likes to play with in the middle of the night because she's a little jerk. Ha ha. Oh my god, yeah, cats, oh my god, cats will just knock anything around and off the tables and just break them and look at you like you're the idiot, you know what I mean? Oh man, you ain't lying, cats are so devious, man, <laughs> they'll knock things off the tables and pretend like they didn't do anything, man, it's like they're just little troublemakers, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, but, you know, you, you gotta love it at the same time, you know, even if they broke your mom's china that was, like, a hundred years old, like, you, you gotta give them a treat after that, right? Because they're just so darn cute. Oh, for sure, man. <laughs> you can't get mad at them for too long, man. They're just too cute. You still gotta give them a treat, man. Just can't resist their cuteness, you know what I mean? I know, dude. It's, 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 it's pretty crazy, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, it's wild, bro. Cats have a way of getting away with anything, man. They're, like little furry manipulators you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah i feel that what would you say is your uh your favorite youtuber man that's a tough question man i've got a few favorite youtubers man but i gotta say one of my favorites is markiplier you know what i mean he's just a real cool dude man and he makes some funny videos bro <laughs> i thought your favorite youtuber was uh dashy you've been lying to me bro oh you're right man how could I forget my boy Dashy, man? He's Defoe, one of my favorites. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out, bro. Can't believe I almost forgot about Dashy, man. No problem, no problem. Do you think uh, you're his favorite YouTuber? Man, I, I doubt I'm Dashy's favorite YouTuber, man. The man's got millions of subscribers, man. He's probably got a lot of favorite YouTubers. But a man can dream, you know what I mean? Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, you, you, you got a million subscribers. I'm, I'm sure he knows about you, right? 
Oh, yeah, man. I bet he knows about me, man. <laughs> I mean, we're both gamers and YouTubers, so I'm sure he's heard of me, man. But being his favorite, man, that's a whole other level. You know what I mean? Ha ha. <laughs> True. Yeah, I saw uh, Jacksepticeye knows you, so that was that was pretty exciting, right? Oh, man, it was wild. When Jacksepticeye mentioned me, man, he's <laughs> one of the big YouTubers. You know what I mean? Like, it was crazy to hear my name on his stream. I was like, I made it, man. Ha ha. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Man, it's always wild when bigger YouTubers shout me out, man. It's validation, you know what I mean? Just feels good, man. It's like, okay, I'm on the right track, man. <laughs> I'm doing something right. Dude, it's crazy when the, the voice actor for Leon, you know, knew you, or knows you, rather. That was pretty crazy, right? Man, when the actual voice actor for Leon Kennedy gave me a <laughs> shout out, man, that was next level, man. It was like my childhood dream come true, bro. I was like, no way, man. This can't be real. Like, I grew up playing Resident Evil games, man, and Leon Kennedy is, like, my favorite character. You know what I mean? To have the actual voice actor recognize me was just insane, man. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, but I thought you said uh, Chris Redfield uh, was your favorite character in, in Resident Evil. You said that on your streams, like, a million times. You're right, man. I do love Chris <laughs> Redfield. Don't get me wrong, man. But Leon Kennedy has a special place in my heart. You know what I mean? I mean, I grew up playing Resident Evil 4, and Leon Kennedy is just such a cool character, man. But don't get me wrong. Uh, Chris Redfield is up there, bro. I love me some Chris Redfield, too. Do you think you could uh, win uh, a fight against Chris Redfield? Oh, man. I like my odds against Chris Ruffalo, bro. I mean, I've got a few inches on him, and I'm no stranger to fighting. But you never know, man. That dude is jacked, bro. He's got that superhero physique, you know what I mean? So it would definitely be a battle, but I think I'd come out on top. Dang, bro, that's pretty crazy. It's, it's amazing that he can just, you know, punch boulders, right? Man, for real, bro. Chris Redfield punching boulders is just wild, bro. It's like, how does a man punch a boulder, man? <laughs> but he just does it, bro. It's crazy too, because he just had like military training. He's not like a superhero or anything. Yeah, man, exactly. Chris Redfield is just a regular dude with military training, <laughs> and he can still do crazy things like punch boulders, bro. It's like, what kind of military training does that, man? Ha ha. I, uh, I guess he just ate a lot of uh, egg yolks, you know what I mean? You know, you might be right, man. Maybe Chris Redfield's secret to punching boulders <laughs> is just eating a ton of egg yolks, bro. Maybe that's the key. Just eat a lot of egg yolks. Oh, man, I'm going to have to try that one day. Yeah, man, give it a shot, bro. Eat some egg yolks and see if you can punch a boulder, too. Who knows, man? Maybe you'll be a boulder punching like Chris Redfield. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, make a video about it and post it on YouTube. Oh, for real, man? That's a great idea, bro. Make a video about trying to punch a boulder after eating <laughs> egg yolks. I bet that'd get a ton of views. You know what I mean? How many, uh, how many views do you think that would get? Man, I bet it would get tons of views, bro. People love watching people do crazy things. You know what I mean? And trying to punch a boulder is definitely crazy, <laughs> man. Plus, the whole egg yolk thing would, would add a funny twist to it. People love funny stuff, so I'm sure it would go viral, bro. Could you give me like a, like a specific number of views that it would probably get? Oh, man, it's hard to say, bro. It really depends on a lot of factors. You know what I mean? But if I had to guess, I'd say maybe a few million views, bro. People love watching crazy stuff like that, and the egg yolk twist would make it go viral, for sure. We know, like, uh, people are going to see this, so they're probably going to steal my idea and get to it before I can. Because, you know, I don't have any, like, boulders laying around my yard, so, you know. Yeah, that's a good point, man. Um, people do like to steal ideas, <laughs> especially if they think it's going to be a hit. But don't worry, man. If someone steals your idea and tries to punch a boulder after eating egg yolks before you do, just remember that you were the one who came up with the idea, bro. Take the credit for being a pioneer of something so creative and unique. Well, I think me and you made the idea. It wasn't just me. You know what I mean? Oh, man, you're absolutely right, bro. <laughs> we did come up with the idea together. I got to give you credit, too, because without you, this whole punching a boulder after eating egg yolks idea never would have even existed. You're just as much a part of this as I am, bro. Yeah, man. So, um, <clears throat> moving on from this topic, because I think we've been dragging this out for a long time. Um... Yeah, man, you're right. We've been stuck on this topic for a while. Let's switch gears and talk about something else. 
What's on your mind, bro? Oh, man, speaking of switching gears, freaking Mario Kart, dude. Like, my goodness, bro. That has got to be one of the best Nintendo games ever. I sunk in many of hours into Mario Kart Wii. Oh, man, bro. Mario Kart is absolutely <laughs> one of the best games ever, for sure. I can't even count the hours I've sunk into that game, man. Whether it's Mario Kart 64, Double Dash, or Mario Kart Wii, I've just had some crazy good times playing it. You know what I mean? It's so addictive, bro. No matter how old I get, I'll always love me some Mario Kart. Same, bro. I think it could be uh, said the, the same thing for, like, Smash Bros. Man, I used to play Brawl all of the time. You know, a lot of people say me Melee is, like, really good. But, dude, you gotta love some Brawl. That has, like, the best starting music at all. Oh, man, I completely agree, bro. Smash Bros. <laughs> is legendary. Melee is definitely awesome, but, like, there's just something special about Brawl. You know what I mean? Like, I've spent countless hours playing that game with my friends, and, and, and those memories are just priceless, bro. Not to mention that starting music, man. It gets me hyped every time, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I know, it makes me want to throw my booty cheeks, you know what I mean? Oh, man, same, bro. That starting music for Brawl has that effect on me, too, man. It just hits different, and it, it definitely makes me want to throw my booty <laughs> cheeks, you know what I mean? Ha ha. Bro, you, like, man, like, could you imagine? Bro, I can totally imagine, man. <laughs> I mean, that, that starting music makes me want to just <laughs> let it all loose. You know what I mean? It's, like, impossible not to get hyped up and throw some booty when that beat drops, man. <laughs> ha ha. Bro, speaking of uh, throwing booty cheeks, um, how you doing on the 60 seconds world record? Oh, man, thanks for asking, bro. <laughs> I've been working hard on that 60 seconds world record, man. I've been practicing every day and trying different strategies to see what works best. You know what I mean? It's a tough challenge, but I'm determined to beat it, man. I've gotten close a few times, but I just can't seem to quite get there yet. But I ain't giving up, bro. I'm going to keep grinding until I break that record. Yeah, I know, man. It sucked whenever like, you came back and started doing that type of stuff and somebody had like beaten your world record. It was like 400-something days. And then another guy came in with like a 511. Man, <laughs> I bet you wanted to <laughs> throw some booty cheeks. Oh, man, you have no idea, bro. When I came back and saw somebody else had beaten my world record, I was devastated, man. I mean, I had worked so hard to get that record and to have someone else come along and beat it after all that time... <laughs> was just so frustrating i felt like throwing something for sure but you know what i was like no i ain't gonna let that get to me i took it as a challenge you know what i mean i was like okay i see how it is i gotta step up my game all right well um i'm i'm gonna I'm head off now it's fun talking to you and uh enjoy your uh five large uh pizzas all right man it was it was great talking to you too and don't worry i'll definitely enjoy these five large pizzas bro <laughs> catch you later and those uh, two boxes of uh, chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah, man. Don't forget those two boxes of chicken nuggets, bro. <laughs> Can't have all that pizza without some nuggets on the side. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> don't forget about that, um, that, 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 that Taco Bell order that you got with that. I forgot what you got. Bro, you don't have to remind me about that Taco Bell <laughs> order, man. I got a feast, bro. I was like, give me some tacos, burritos, crunch wraps, and those cheesy gordita crunches. <laughs> Dang, you're eating like a king, aren't you? What else? What what other uh, food did you order? Oh, you bet I'm eating like a king, bro. <laughs> Besides all that stuff from Taco Bell, I also got some Chinese takeout from that place <laughs> down the down the street. I ordered some fried rice, sweet and sour pork, and some General Tso's chicken. Man, my stomach is gonna be so happy tonight. I don't know, man. I think your stomach is gonna is gonna hate you like that. It, like Chinese food, it makes me have to go bookie. You know what I mean, bro? Nah, man, you ain't wrong, bro. Chinese food can have that effect sometimes. But to be honest with you, I don't care. I'll deal with the <laughs> aftermath later, bro. The taste of all this food is worth whatever might happen later. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, no amount of buki is going to not make me want to eat a lot of food. You know what I mean? Like, so what if I buki all over the place? You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I feel you, bro. <laughs> I mean, who cares if you got to rush to the bathroom after eating all that food? You know. The pleasure of eating good food is worth a little extra time sitting on the toilet. Bro, I've been trying to make you say buki this entire time, dude. Ha ha, I know, man. I figured that out a while ago. But I just couldn't resist messing with you, you know? It's all in good fun, bro. Come on, just say buki, man. I've been waiting. All right, all right, man. I'll give you what you want. Buki. You happy now, bro? 
No, you said bookie. I mean bookie. Bookie. Oh, man. You're really making me work for it, bro. Okay, here it goes. Bookie. Bookie there, bro. Are you satisfied now? No, dude. Bookie. Bruh, seriously? You're really putting me through the ringer here, man. Bookie. Bookie why, bro? Happy now? You're not saying it right, dude. Bookie. Dude, I swear you're killing me with this one, man. Bookie, bro. Bookie. Bookie. Now, please, is that what you wanted? Can you say it like five times in a row, uh, times two speed? Oh, man, I see where this is going, bro. But fine, here goes nothing. Bookie, 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 bookie. Was that fast enough for you, my man? Yeah, bro, I'm gonna head off now. It was fun talking to you, and, uh, you know, bookie, you know what I mean, bro? Bookie, 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 bookie. Yeah, man, same here. It's It's been a good chat, bro, but I gotta bounce now myself. Take it easy, man. Catch you later on, bro. Oh, yeah, I bet you'd be bouncing away, man. That's how you get around, right? Ah, uh -huh, to Shay, man. But I gotta admit, <laughs> I, I do enjoy a good bounce every now and then. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Gotta love that bounce. You, you gotta love that bookie bounce, you know what I mean? Man, you aren't wrong about that, bro. <laughs> a good bookie balance is key, especially what? when you're bouncing around like a madman. <laughs> you gotta keep that tummy in check, you know what I mean? And... Yeah, bro, I I, uh, I 100% agree, and that is not a lie. So, um, you know, I'm going to head off now. Have a good stream. Love you, love you, love you. Bookie, bookie, bookie. All right, man, I'm going to bounce, too. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. And as always, love you, love you, love you, too. Bookie, bookie, bookie. <laughs>